is 4.30. Welcome to class, everyone. My name is Alex, health fitness professional. I am your uh, instructor for today for Total Body Circuit. Happy Thursday to you all. I hope you've been having a great day so far. All right, so we're going to have three circuits today for our class. We're going to have seven minutes to do each circuit with 90 seconds of rest in between. All right, so not going to waste any more time here. We're going to go ahead and get warmed up. Make sure you have your weights near, water near if you need it, and of course your mat. All right. So coming forward, arm swings. Want to make sure you guys get as much time uh, to rest as you need, and want a little bit more time to cool down. So. Reverse it. Make sure not to just throw your arm in a circle. Control that circle. And relax. Come to a torso twist. If you want to step with it, you can step with it. Go ahead and bring the elbow up to the knee. Switching sides. into squats. Control that descent. Squeeze those glutes. Push up. Yesterday was tough. We'll see what happens today. Right into back lunges. Keep the torso nice and tall. Keep the chest high. Shoulders back. And relax. Open the legs. I'm going to come to lateral lunges up. to butt kicks. Of course, we still have our cardio component at the end of each circuit. So make sure you have your water ready and you have enough space to do the moves. Come up to high knees. Jumping jacks. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, so first three moves. Number one, lunging bridges. So you're gonna grab your mat. This is starting off with our core exercise. It's always going to go core, strength, cardio, move. That's how the moves are going to go. Forearms, drop the hips to the side, 10 reps. Then you'll go to the next exercise, which is going to be hip thrust, get up. You're going to grab your weight, you're going to come down, bring your butt to your heels. You're going to hip drive up, press up. Stand up, come back down. That's one, 10 reps. Cardio move, we've got quick feet, up downs. All right, so you gonna make sure you have enough space. Quick feet, chop, 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 down, and right back up. Modification, regular step back, birth beat. All right, so here we go. Starting off the clock. We have a 90 second rest in between each. Starting off with the London Bridges. Got 10 reps, left and right is one. So one, two, three. Control this movement, go slow. 
Don't rush it. Ten. All right. So really feel that in the obliques. All right. Hip drive. Get up. Grab your weights if you have them. If you don't have to have weights for this move, but if you do, it's a bonus. Butt to the heels, hip drive, press up, stand up, back down. Switch legs, coming up this time. So hip drive, press up, stand up. Two, switch on legs again. Try to alternate legs each time. Oop. Press, stand up. Three. Coordination comes into play here a lot. It is rhythm. Five. But I know you guys can find it. You got it. Then I go again. Six. Try to get those arms vertical as you can. Keep the core tight as you come up. Try not to lean to one side. Got two more. Make sure you're switching legs each time. Last one. Ten. All right. Now we got our core move, or our cardio move. Quick feet up down. So just chop your feet for about five seconds. Hop down, come back up, so on and so forth. All right, so here we go. Hop down. There's one. Down. Two. Quick feet, quick feet. Down. Three. Quick feet. Down. Modifications of regular burpee step back. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, keep it up, down, and ten. All right. Whew. Back to the top, London Bridges. Ten reps. Try to get your hip to drop to the ground or as close as you can. to the butt, and up we go. Switching legs. Oop, too quick. Two. Remember to press before I stand up. Four. Now, if you want to have your uh, feet flat, you can do that. If you want to have me on your toes, you can do that. And I'll come to the side and show you what I mean. If you want to have your feet flat, like this and then come up, you can do that. If you want to have your feet on your toes, like so, you can do that too. Two more. One more.
We got a minute left. Quick feet up, down. So here we go. Pump your arms, pump your arms down. Pump, pump, pump. Down. Come on, quick, quick. Down. Three. Pump, pump, pump. Down. Come on, quick. Let's go. Down. Quick. Down. Down. Everything. If it's jiggling, it's all right. Down. Two more. Down. Last one. Down. All right. There's 10. Back to the top, my name bridges. Should be able to get all 10. Keep working through the end of the timer. Trying to keep your shoulders square to the ground. Halfway there. Nine and ten. Whew. Keep going. Work through the timer. Work through the timer. We got 90 seconds for recovery. All right, next, our next uh, circuit. First move, figure eight. Second move, hip torque twist. Third move, mule kicks. So figure eights are pretty simple. You're gonna come down on your mat, draw a figure eight. Draw number eight with your legs. All right. The second move, the hip torque and twist. Think of it as kind of like a lunge with a twist. All right. So you're gonna grab your weight. You can do this with or without weight. You're going to step back and slightly across if you can, like you're doing a curtsy lunge. And you're going to twist to that side. So my right leg's up, I'm twisting to my right. Then you're gonna snap back, bring your hips forward, bring that leg up and the weight up. Then you're gonna go to the other side. Across and down, snap, bring that hips, the hips forward, the weight up. Last move, mule kicks. You just come over to a high plank and kick. Just like that. Starting up at the top, number one, figure eights. I'll show you some more modifications. If you need, just do five of these. If you can't, do 10. Two. Three. Four. Five. Go to the left and to the right to count as one. Seven. Bring your arms out to the sides to give your body some stability. And 10. All right. It's a tough move. That's a tough move. All right, going on to our strength move. We have the hip torque and twist. All right, so you can do this. I would suggest doing this with one dumbbell if you're going to use a dumbbell. We're going to have five on each side to equal 10 total. All right, so here we go. Remember, stepping it back and across if you can, or you can just bring your leg straight back. Twisting to that side, bring the hips up. Stay on that same side. Five reps. Two, three, four, five, switch it up. One, two, three, four, five. are having some issues with that, as I would suggest, just trying to do a regular kettlebell swing. I need a little bit heavier weight for that. So it's a little bit difficult, ironically, because it's not heavy enough. 
All right, so if you're having some issues with that, regress it to a regular kettlebell swing. All right, going on to the cardio move, mule kicks. I'll add in two dumbbells for that move we just did. Let's make it more challenging for me. All right, here we go. 10 mule kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Modification, regular step back burpee again. All right, so getting up and down, that's supposed to be the hard part. All right, you can even add in the stand up with that mule kick. You can kick, stand up, back down to kick. Just to make it a little bit more harder, add in that element of getting up and down to wind yourself a little bit more. All right, so we're back to the top, figure eights. Remember left and right is one. Do five, if you cannot do 10. Bring those arms out to the side to support your body. Halfway there. Try to turn your hips as you go to the side. Two more. One more. Done. Whew. Definitely feel that one. Obliques as well as the six pack muscles is where you should feel that that uh that move right there. Alright, so I'm gonna try this with two dumbbells, modification, kettlebell swing. Alright. Two, three, four, five. Core in your hips is where you want to feel this. The lower you're able to get, the more momentum you can generate, and the more you feel like that snap, twisting, torque feeling. All right? Mule kicks, I'm adding in the stand up to make this a little bit more challenging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Back to the top, figure eight. Whew. A little winded. Keep going, guys. Let's keep going. One. I'm going to try to turn your hips. When you bring your hips to the left, Try to turn your hips and your toes to the left. Bring your hips to the right. Try to turn your toes and your hips to the right. One more. Whew. Whew. Time's going. Less than a minute and a half. Grab those dumbbells, kettlebell swing, or the torque and twist. Here we go. Remember, the lower you go, the more you'll feel it, the more you turn, the more you'll feel it. Four, five, one, two, Take us through mule kicks with the stain. Here we go. One, two, three. Soft landings if your feet are coming off the ground. Five, six. 
seven. Work through the clock. Work through the clock. All right. Circuit two is done. Got one more to go. Get some wood if you need. Wipe off your sweat, clean up your space. Or just breathe. Next three move. Bent leg crunch holds. All right, so what you're gonna do, down on your back, bend your legs, lift the hands toward the sky, crunch, hold, bring it back down. Crunch, hold, bring it back down. 10 reps, 10 reps. Number two, squat thrust, ugh, squat thrust with a row, all right? Get your dumbbells in hand, you're gonna squat down, press up, fold over, row, and repeat, 10 reps. Number three is a roll to stand. So you're gonna roll down on your back like so. You're gonna squat down, push back, roll back, roll forward. All right, so you're gonna have to gain momentum when you roll forward, really uh, squeeze down on your abdominals, really throw your arms into it so you can come to a stand. All right, modification, you guessed it, burpee, step back. Or a regular burpee, or any other type of burpee. Start from the top, bend leg crunch. Bend legs, lift, hold, three seconds, send down. Lift, back down. Good. Keep those arms vertical. Just trying to lift your shoulders off the floor. Lift. Halfway there, lift, working those upper abs, lift, keep going, keep going, one more, last one, up, leg down, all right, Whew. squat thrust, lift the row, grab those weights, here we go, shoulder, or weights come up to the shoulders, Squat down, thrust. Don't get that bent over row. One, show you these from the side. Push the hips back, just like you're doing a regular bent over row. There's two, three, four. Hold those shoulder blades behind you. Just keep those shoulder blades back as you go to do that row. All right, so fold over, shoulder blades back, row. We're more than halfway there. Return those weights to the shoulders after each press or after each row. Do your best to separate the thrust from the row. You don't want to go from one into the other without stopping your momentum, all right? We got one more. All right. We're back to the top. Bent leg, crunch and hold. Here we go. Keep those hands up. Lift and back down. Lift and back down. Good. Just getting those shoulders off of the floor. You're keeping the arms vertical to add additional work for your core. All right. Halfway there. If you need to, you can bring the hands down to the head by the temples. Curl up. All right. We're doing our best to make like a half crescent or a letter C with our spine curling and flexing at the upper half. So that's why you just gotta lift those shoulders off the ground. Two more. Last one. All right. Plenty of time left on the clock. About halfway through. Squat. Oh, I missed the roll to stand. That's the roll thing. 
All right, well, I'm gonna keep going. If y'all didn't miss it, keep going to where you are. One, two, remember, generate momentum. Three, four, modification, step back, bur burpee. Five. Six, don't leave yourself in the face. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That definitely works the core a little bit more as well. All right, so if you're feeling it in your core, that's okay, you should. You really wanna hone in on flexing the spine, creating that crescent shape at the top, the thoracic portion of your uh, spine. All right, so that ab flexion is exactly why we're doing uh, the first core move and then that roll to stand so you can get used to that ab flexion, all right? Now we're back at the top. Or, or no, we just did. I just did the ab move. Now I am on the squat thrust with the row and right back to the sit this thing. All right, so don't let me get you guys out of order. Just keep on going if you know the order, because clearly I don't. So just keep on going. All right, it's still a good workout. We're not worried about it. Keep those shoulders back when you go for that row. Do your best to separate the moves from the start and stop. Be decisive when you start the transition. That's all that means. That's all that means. Two more. to the sit the stand then we're back to the top sit stand will probably take me all the way through but keep working all the way through the timer we're done after this guys let's keep going throw those arms into it Try to come up on your feet evenly. If you notice you're on one side more than the other, that's your stronger side. So try to come up on your feet as evenly as you can. And all right. Catch your breath. Come on down to join me on the mat. Just grab a seat, pop a squat. Going to come right to a straddle position. Sit nice and high. Push your torso forward. Spread your legs as wide as you can get them. We're going for a stretch in the inner groin right here. Good work, guys. Good work. Not bad for a Friday junior, Friday Eve. And bring those feet together. Bring the right leg up and over the left. We're gonna pull and twist our left leg. Pull left, the leg into your body. Twist away from your body.
keep breathing, get those deep breaths in, relax and switch. Pull and twist. It's a good workout. And relax. Keep the feet extended in front of you. Straight out, we're gonna fold right over. Squeeze the quads if you can. Point your toes up. Grab your toes. Push your chest toward your toward your knees so that you don't arch your back. Or not arch your back, but uh, don't want to curve your back. Keep those quads squeezed. Pull on those toes. And relax. We're gonna grab your left foot. We're gonna go to the left quad. So pull it back and lean back. Just gonna lean back and twist. Keep on breathing. And switch. Bring the left leg in front of you. Grab that right foot, pull it back to your glute. Lean back and twist. Squeeze that glute to get a little bit of extra stretch out of that quad. Keep on breathing, taking those big breaths. And relax. Bring the right arm over and across. If you guys are still with me thus far, thank you for joining me. Taking some extra time to pull down and switch. Interlock those fingers, fold over one more time to get the back, reach down to the ground, get the lats as well. And come up nice and slow. Take a big breath and you guys are good to go. So thank you for joining me again today for Total Body Circuit. Hope to see you guys next week. Till then, holla.